Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Becky. If you're new here, I am a mom of two little girls and I am pregnant with my first boy. And I also have a stepson who is seven years old. This is my 25 week pregnancy update. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. This week I've noticed my tummy is definitely growing. I purchased something at 24 weeks to do something this past weekend and when I went to put it on, it didn't fit me anymore. My tummy was completely like bulging out. So definitely baby is really growing in there. I am considering doing an elective ultrasound just to see his little face because by now I feel like their face is formed and they're just getting all that cute little fatty tissue now from now until birth. Um, I've had to pee a lot more. I feel the pressure for sure. I feel the pressure whenever my bladder is like just a little bit full i feel the pressure i have to go pee i have to stop driving or doing whatever i'm doing and go to the bathroom i also have been craving ice which is not new for me but it's new for this late in pregnancy normally i'm chewing on ice from 15 weeks on this time it took to about 25 weeks um my boobs are also growing and bigger and sore even more so than last week and previous weeks but i feel like that's just gonna keep on happening as i continue through the pregnancy i have had a lot of braxton hicks and i have been feeling very very tired normally i do not take naps at all when the girls are taking a nap i use that time to like pick up around the house just everything that happened during breakfast and morning time i try i try to pick it up and clean and do whatever i have to do but lately i have been just taking a nap in this comfortable bed with this comfortable pillow right here um and this has also been a must-have especially this past week i feel like it's just gonna keep on growing like my need to have this pillow with me and this week i feel like i have to beat my husband to the bed because if he gets to the bed first he is taking charge of my pillow and i don't see it for the whole night that's just how it is these days i think i'm just gonna get him one because i can't i need my pillow um sometimes i feel like i need to put my feet up my feet just kill me at the end of the day it's just my body is getting bigger the baby's getting bigger it's just more weight on my feet between my belly and the water weight that i'm holding on to so i know that from now on I have to take it easy. I have to take breaks. I have to put my feet up sometimes and I have to take a nap sometimes as much as I don't want to. I feel so unproductive, but my body needs it, especially like I have insomnia now, even more than normal. Normally I have insomnia, but now it's even worse with thinking of everything that I need to do for the baby before he gets here, with thinking about baby names. Um, and just in general, I can't sleep. In, and when I do, I have to wake up to drink water or to go to the bathroom. So sleeping is just not... It's a rare occurrence for me to sleep through the night these days. And so naps, if I have to, I will. Other than that, I think everything has been pretty normal. My hair, I have been feeling like it's been growing out as well as my nails these are not my nails but under my nails are actually getting stronger which is pretty good i'm really thankful i have been taking my prenatals every night before bed and i also found um a new like regimen for stretch marks which i am loving it's been about three or four days that i've been using it and i can definitely already see a difference my stretch marks are getting lighter in complexion and the ones that were already there and well i'm not gonna know if it's gonna prevent any and so i continue using it but i definitely recommend rosehip oil organic rosehip oil you just put a little bit over your belly every time you get the chance rub it in let it dry and sink into your skin and i found that it really really helps so i added that into my regimen and other than that i think that's it for my 25 week pregnancy update this week has not been the most eventful it's definitely starting to sink in that within possibly like 12 weeks he will be here i always have my babies at around 38 39 weeks 
so it's getting so real and i'm starting to feel like i'm running out of time to get all of my baby stuff like all i have is just a couple cute little outfits and that's it and some of the things that i saved from Haley and aubrey so i'm not so unprepared like but i still feel unprepared i don't have his bed i don't have any of my things really ready so i'm gonna start packing my hospital bag in the next couple of weeks just to have that out of the way the girls bags out of the way so when they have to go to my mom's house it's just <laughs> simple um but i definitely feel like it's coming soon also when i touch my belly and i just like focus on my belly he will start kicking wherever i am touching so it's so adorable and i'm starting to feel like a real connection with him like i have throughout this whole pregnancy but now more than ever like he's growing and i can feel him kicking and moving and i can feel his little schedule of when he's gonna be awake and when he's gonna be sleeping for the most part so that just makes me so much more excited to have a baby here and it makes it so much more real that baby is coming soon it's it's amazing but let's get into the bump shot here is a bump shot mind you i can't lift my dress obviously i have to go shopping for baby clothes for sure because i mean maternity clothes for sure because my belly is out there it is growing so much so like these dresses are all that fit me right now but i'm not complaining because they're super comfortable but yep there's the belly shot I feel like from the front with this dress i can kind of still get away with it a little bit but then i turn to the side and it's like bam well thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoy coming along on my pregnancy journey and I hope that you can relate to the symptoms that I've been having and I'll see you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.